are free from weak and worthless rituals. Galatians chapter 4 verses 6 to 11. And because you are sons, God has sent for the spirit of his son into your hearts, crying out, Abba, Father. Therefore you are no longer a slave, but a son. And if a son, then an heir of God to Christ. But then indeed, when you did not know God, you served those which by nature are not gods. But now after you have known God, are, are or rather known by Him, how is it that you turn again to the weak and beggarly elements, to which you desire again to be in bondage? You observe days and months and seasons and years. I am afraid for you, lest I have labored for you in vain. As Paul begins to address the issue of being in bondage to all kinds of observances, rituals, vain, empty rituals. Paul uh, reminds the believers in Galatia, he says, you know, you are children of God. God has sent the spirit of his son into your heart. Uh, you know, when you didn't know God, you subjected yourself to all kinds of things which are not God's. Um, you know, and so you can imagine uh, that they were, uh, uh, you know, they would have had all kinds of rituals observances, things that they kept and they, you know, you should do this and you don't do this and, and all of that. Superstitions, uh, all kinds of things that they would have been part of. But Paul says, you know, now that you're in Jesus, don't go back to those weak and beggarly elements is what he refers to them as. These things that, you know, you have to observe certain days, you have to observe certain months, um, you have to observe certain seasons and years. Um, he says, don't go back to those things which try to bring you in bondage. You know, when you and I uh, submit ourselves to such kinds of ideas, you know, today is a good day, tomorrow is a bad day, or, you know, do this today, don't do that tomorrow. Uh, observing these kinds of uh, things, which, you know, generally we call them as superstitions. Paul is saying we are putting ourselves into bondage. We are unnecessarily bringing ourselves under these worthless, he calls them weak and beggarly things. I mean, they are actually worthless things and they do us no good. Remember that in Jesus Christ, you are not subject to all of these superstitious things, these weak and vain, worthless rituals. You're free from it. So don't let anyone put that on you. Don't let even your own culture put that on you. Uh, while we uh, acknowledge good things in various cultures. We don't want to come into bondage to superstition and bondage to uh, observing this and observing that. And, 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 and No, we want to live free. Christ has set us free. Let's live free. We worship God and serve God in the Spirit. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you that you set us free from observing weak and beggarly elements, things that man has come up with their own ideas, superstitions, that we are free from all these things, that we are sons and daughters of God, and we worship you and serve you in the Spirit. Help us to walk free, to live free. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.